I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent test problem on domain and range of composite functions. Given f of x equals to square root of 4 minus x square and g of x equals to square root of 5 plus x square, find f of g and g of f and state their domains. Right? Now we are given two functions here. One is f of x which is equals to square root of 4 minus x square right the other one is g of x which is equals to square root of 5 plus x square now first let us analyze the domain of these functions g of x x could be any value it is positive always right so so g of x is uh, i can say x belongs to real numbers where there is no restriction on x right so x square will always be positive so this number is perfectly fine however here, 4 minus x square should be greater than or equal to 0. So in this particular case, the domain of f of x is x belongs to real number, where x is greater than minus 2 and is less than plus 2, correct? Since if I have x square greater than 2, this will be negative, which you can always find. 4 minus x square should be less than or equal to 0. So from there, you get domain and range for this function. However, the question here is not to find domain range for these functions, but to find domain and range of composite functions, correct? So, I'll teach you two methods. One is, let us first find the composite function and then look into domain. So, the first one is f of g. So, let us say f of g. It means f of g is what? g is square root of 5 plus x squared. So, we'll write f of within square root 5 plus x square right so that becomes f of g and now to find f of this we'll substitute this value in f of x right now the x value is square root of 5 plus x square so we get square root of 4 minus square root of 5 plus x square whole square you get the idea right so that becomes f of g now we can open this bracket and solve. So when you open this bracket, you get 4 minus square root and square, they kind of cancel out. So you get minus, minus uh, 5 and minus x square, right? So this is what you get. And simplifying, you get square root of uh, minus 1 minus x square. Now, as you can see, minus 1 minus x square is always negative, right? minus 1 and then taking away another positive value from x square is always negative. Now that means what is the domain of this function? So we say this function has no domain right so so this function doesn't the domain is not defined do you see that? Since minus 1 minus x square is actually less than 0 right it is never positive right in this case we say that this function's domain does not exist or we can say domain is a null set so we write phi as a null set which is the domain right so at times some of you might know about this set convention so we'll say domain is null set annual null set that means there is nothing in the domain right domain has no value in real numbers in this particular case correct so that's a very typical example and therefore it is so many times asked in the test papers and now let's look into the other function which is g of f so g of f means g of f is given to us as square root of 4 minus x square so we'll substitute this value here so we get square root of 5 plus instead of x we'll write square root of 4 minus x squared, right? And this is all squared. Is it okay? So that is how it is. So that gives us square root of 5 plus when this when you square the square root, you get 4 minus x squared, right? So that is indeed equals to square root of 9 minus x squared. Now 9 minus x squared has a restricted domain. Now here x could be x could be between plus and minus 3, right? Plus and minus 3. Now, but the important thing here is when you begin with, you start with 
g of fx right so g of f of x now you have to see the restrictions on f itself is it okay now in the domain of f of x you see the domain is restricted to minus 2 to plus 2 correct so our domain is restricted to minus 2 and plus 2 so we cannot even have this domain since the inside function is restricted so here since f of x has a domain from minus 2 to plus 2 right so uh, let me write domain for this right domain so the domain of g of f will actually be let me write like this domain of g of f will be equals to x belongs to real numbers and it is restricted by the domain of f of x right so that is subset of the domain of f of x so here in this case it will be minus 2 to 2 both included correct so that is how you can find domain of uh, composite functions so don't uh, really look into the final answer you have to see how to find domain so domain of a composite function is a subset of the domain of the inside function and the other thing which restricts is the range of inside function should be in the domain however here since the do domain of g of x has no restrictions so that becomes our ultimate domain of the function. I hope that helps to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.